This is KRQE News 13 with Dick Niffing and Diane Anderson. Wherever they go, whatever they do, it is increasingly likely that a camera is watching. Taking their pictures tonight, police and business owners show us how they're using those pictures to nail thieves before they know what hit them. Here's News 13's Alex Tomlin. This whole thing is just like a neighborhood watch, but on the Internet. Other ones might show an arrest that took place. Um, this one here indicates that a robbery. We have people that make this a living. Um, that's how they start their day. That's how they finish their day, boosting large amounts of merchandise. Snapshot after snapshot. Retailers, hotels, and cops are taking down the bad guys. Here's how it works. Albuquerque stores and hotels post information and any pictures they have of thefts at their businesses on this private website. It's more geared towards those individuals who are impacting on a large scale multiple retailers. It warns other members to be on the lookout and alerts the cops who are the only other people with access to the site. If they see somebody very often that uh, is committing a crime and maybe they get away before they can apprehend them or they figure it out after the fact that a crime has been committed, they'll post that online asking who is this person. Uh, most of the time, one of my detectives knows who that individual is. Cracking down on these career criminals has already made its mark around town. The evidence we provide to police and law enforcement has been crucial in many prosecutions. Um, since Arapa was founded in 2006, we've had over 500, I'm sorry, 500 felonies that we've referred for prosecution. Not only are the alerts posted instantly on the website, they also go out to many members' cell phones in most cases. Back to you. Okay, Alex, officials from L.A., Arizona, and Washington are all looking into the Albuquerque system to create their own version.